And we're back, everybody. Continuing Unova Red, finally. Took a little bit of a break from it. Now, I have all eight badges. So I can go to the League whenever. I already went a bit to, to a Victory Road last time, too, didn't I? But there's still quite a few Pokemon I need to go out and look for and catch. One of the ones I think I want to grab is... Up top, the Pokemon Tower. Just get Sigilith out of... Sigilith out of the way. Whatever the hell you say it. Ultra Balls, Great Balls... Problem is, that thing can run away and it's annoying as hell. It has Whirlwind is the problem. So let's just go get that. As soon as I activate my bicycle to cover Lavender Town track. It was near the top a bit, I believe. Let's go. That's one mon I need for sure, but... There's also plenty of trainers to beat up in, um... Victory Road as well, of course. I need to worry too much about that. I was able to catch both, uh... I was... Uh, to catch the, the fighting-type Muppet that I was missing last time. I didn't get the Sylph Scope. Ugh, I knew I was forgetting something. Alright, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I know, I mentioned Whirlwind, didn't I? Oh, just go all the way back to Cinnabar, that's a smart idea. I think I said last episode, too, that I wouldn't forget to get the Sylph Scope. Whatever. Getting it now. Whirlwind in Gen 1 is so weird, because it doesn't even work in battles. Like, uh, I recently found this out. Whirlwind didn't have, like, its force switch effect until Gen 2. Its entire purpose in Gen 1 was entirely just, uh, escape wild battles. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty useless move. Absolutely. I think Roar works the same way. Yeah, they both work exactly the same. There's just no absolute- there's no point of using them in a trainer battle. In fact, come to think of it, that would mean that in Pokemon Stadium, the, they, the moves literally don't work. Do the moves even have animations programmed? I wonder about that. Huh. Someone's gotta, like, look into that. If those moves have, like, any kind of animation associated with them that literally cannot play because, well, there's, uh... Yeah, they'd fail every time in Stadium because there's no wild encounters. I just wonder if they actually put an animation in there because it's Pokemon. I feel like they'd forget to do that, and or they'd do that anyway. You know they would. That's an interesting question. I imagine that, uh, Whirlwind has an animation in Gen 2... So does Roar, but... Would there be one for Pokemon Stadium 1 some, somewhere? What am I doing? Just try to use Normal-type move on a Ghost-type. One more floor up, I think. I think I can encounter him here, but, you know... Just trying to get stuff while I can. I think it's a low encounter. I did, I did find it here before, though. Pokemon must be trained. I can use Dig to get out of here whenever I want. A little insensitive to do that in a graveyard, but, you know, who's gonna stop me? According to Bulbapedia, Roar apparently does have an animation in Stadium 1 despite being useless there. That is hilarious. That's like a funny- that's like a Pokemon fun fact. I gotta have to, uh, I'll probably post that to my Twitter or something. I gotta write that down. That's so funny. I don't know why I'm bothering to attack it, but, you know, just because. Why not? I assume the same goes with, uh, Whirlwind for Stadium 1, but you specified Roar there. Too bad I can't use my bike in here, but, you know, they frown upon that inside. A 
It's one of those one-off Pokemon I just need to get out of the way. And I'm pretty sure this is the only place to find one. Hang on, let me check. Let me check, chat. Let me check. Kukadal, give me a... There it is. Ada. No, 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 no. I went down to area. I tried to, anyway. Yeah, this is literally the only place it appears. So I'm just gonna have to run back and forth until it does appear. I did change the category to Pokemon, right, chat? I'm pretty sure I did. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> That's just really funny to me. I know that Stadium 1 also uh, had to fix a glitch with High Jump Kick. High Jump Kick only inflicts one HP, or one hit points, uh, on recoil damage. Now, you'd only ever see that on Hitmonlee, because Hitmonlee's, it was, at the time, its only signature move, right? Stadium 1 is the only Gen 1 game that fixes that. Yellow version had to keep it because of uh, compatibility with Link Battles. Ah, there it is. There's so much weird stuff with Gen 1 mechanics that just completely fall apart. It's so funny. <laughs> Run back and forth. We'll find it eventually. Or it will find us eventually. Well, there's that thing. I already got one, though. Aliens in the graveyard. More likely than you'd expect. The bear is here. The bear is growing. Ah, there it is again. Did Hitmonlee have exclusive, more exclusive moves? I don't remember. Didn't it have, uh, Meditate, was it? I think it was the only, po only Pokemon that could learn that at the time. At least it feels like to me. It's Jump Kick, High Jump Kick, and Meditate, if I'm not mistaken. No, Rolling Kick, that's right. I can't think of any other Pokemon that can learn uh, Meditate, though. I don't usually see it in Gen 1. I feel like um, Hitmonlee had it. Drowsy could have Meditate, or Meditate. Okay. Only Drowsy? Is that the only other Mon? And now we wait again. I've never used Drowsy or Hypno in, like, any damn playthrough. Mr. Mime can get it as well. Well, Mr. Mime's locked to that uh, in-game trade only. I don't think most people bother using it either. Still nothing. That poor little candle. He was drowsy because he couldn't trade for Alakazam back in the day. Fair enough. And you still can't. You will never be able to trade, evolve, anything. Unless you mod your games. That's just the rule. At least getting a tiny bit of extra experience. But we gotta look for it. I know it's here. Like, uh, check the footage if you want. I'm pretty sure I found it in this room. Yeah, you can you you can use trade evolutions in uh new relevant games for like a month. Then you gotta put in a bit of an effort to actually trade the, get the trade evolution. All right, let's just run. I got Chandelier done. I gotta level up the alien another time. Ah. Or you could just own a second a second console in game. A good old fashioned way of getting trade evolutions back in the day. Nowadays though, I suppose you can just find someone like on like like online easily. Just fixing my seat here. <laughs> run away, bear tick, run away. Come to think of it, I think Probably but nowadays, it might be a, a little more difficult to get trade evolutions on 3DS. Chat, did they ever take down... Did, they didn't take down the online for any of the 3DS Pokemons yet, did they? I don't know if they did. 3DS is still up. I feel like it's only a matter of time until that's gone, too. Just like Gen, original Gen 4 and 5. Don't give them ideas. Oh, trust me, they're already thinking about it. 
They're just waiting until the numbers are low enough, and then they can quietly pull the plug and have no one be that mad. I mean, nowadays you can't really do much anyway. I think by the time they pull the plug, it'll be a lot easier to mod 3DS games for that stuff anyway, so it's not a big deal. That's why I'm so worried about all those games back in the day that released for 3DS as digital download only. Oh, there it is, finally. Some games that released as digital download only are going to just be gone, and you're not going to be able to play them. <sighs> now then, try Great Ball. Oh. Not all of them get re-releases. Ball works good at full health for whatever reason, but this thing's catch rate's probably gonna make it annoying. Is this just gonna be a hunt for this one Pokemon? Play them legitimately. Ah! Oh! Don't, don't, no! Damn it. I think it can't really... You know what I should have done, chat? I should have get, I should have got the, the mushroom and used sleep powder on it. May I should do that. Like, right now. That's so annoying, but whatever. Yeah, let's go get it. What was I saying? I mean, it's probably gonna be like the DS and Game Boy- or not Game Boy Advance. DS games, where once they pull the plug on the online stuff, like, a freaking potato will be able to just, like, you know, play a modded version of it very easily, so it's not a big deal. Let's just deposit you there. Amoongus, there it is. Give me that there. Should have did this right from the start, but I wanted to train the bear for some stupid reason. Alright, let's go. I mean, at this rate, people have already made mods for Let's Go, so I don't think... <laughs> no one... I don't think anyone cares anymore. Does anyone run GTS servers? I don't think so at all. There we go. I don't think there's any fan-made ones you can connect to it, unless maybe you set that up. I remember that right before when Gen 5 Online went down, people figured out an exploit you could do for, um, the, for the global trade station. I think that's part of the reason they don't do it anymore. Like, there was, like, a website you could go to where you could just, like, create any Pokemon you wanted. Like, you could make it shiny, you could pick its nature, you could pick whatever. And if you, you'd set up your DS's internet settings a certain way, and you would, your wonder-traded Pokemon, not wonder-traded, sorry, your, your global trade station Pokemon, that would be sent to you. Like, I, I don't even understand how it worked, but everybody was doing that for a while. It's possible to connect online unofficially in Gen 4 and 5? Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. I remember doing that, like, uh, my brother Dylan showed me it. I was able to get, like, uh, a shiny Sableye that way. Sableye's cool. There we go. But, like, it was so exploitable, like... It, it just... I'm pretty sure, like, people would still be able to do stuff like that, and that's part of the reason they got rid of the Global Trade Station. Because people just figured out a way to dupe it to get whatever you want. It was really dumb. Oh. There we go. Thanks for the gift subs there, friend. Appreciate it. Adjust my volume slightly. The game not too loud, chat? Hope not. Excellent. Pokemon healed up. Would Chandelure be immune to Whirlwind? I don't think that's how it works. I mean, there's already lots of dupes for the new game. If you're like, if you're watching my playthrough of Brilliant Diamond, you'd probably see that I already I did the I did the glitch that lets you skip to Sunny Shore. <laughs> that's so funny. There we go. 
All right, we're back here. Now let's run back and forth and get stuff. Find it again. There it is! There's currently a bot on the gen on Gen 6 where you can deposit them a chop in the GTS and you will get anything in return. Interesting. It's one of those weird things where like, um... Oh, thanks for gifting me that, friend. Uh, like, Pokemon is just so large that there's just always going to be someone to figure out that crap. Like, people apparently figured out how to get shinies on, like, the Sword and Shield raid battles by adjusting their their, their Switch's clock or something. Like, it just Pokemon just has too many people trying this stuff out. Come on. Yeah, that's been a thing for a while. People figured that out real fast. Come on. There we go. Finally got it. Took 15 minutes, but I got another Pokemon added. Guardians of the Ancient City. They use their powerful psychic attacks to warn off invaders. Nice. Transfer the Bills PC. But, speaking of uh, shinies from uh, weird means, I was thinking of trying some shiny streams throughout December chat. I think that could be fun. I kind of wanted to try it. Especially with, like, the radar being a thing in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Alright. Now that we did that, what else can I go catch right now that I should go catch? There's that. Swoobat. I want to go catch some things before I move on. Arbordor, Duosion, Deerling, Ahem. I could just try for both lands again. Dino. This thing was in Victory Road, that's right. And that's all the Pokemon there. The legendaries, I mean. Is there any other Pokemon that I can catch in the wild that I should bring Among Amoongus out for? Inclus, Archon, Scraggy. I own 109, so we're getting there. Seismitoad, Erder, Zebstrika. I wonder if I can run into stuff in the power plant, but that's a pain in the ass to get to now. And then we go up here and we reach that stuff. Now it looks like it's mainly Pokemon that I need to uh, train. Hmm. There we go. What I should do, maybe... Hang on. Put Moongus away. I should just keep making my way through, um... Hang on a second. Where's Merrick? There they are. Keep making my way through Victory Road normally, I suppose. Fight the trainers, keep going. Okay, who's the lowest level? The wild Pokemon in Victory Road will be good for training the level up mons. There's also quite a few things I can catch inside Victory Road. I don't really want to go to the back to the Safari Zone for both land right now. Did I get Durant? I don't actually remember if I got Durant last time. Let me see here. Durant, Durant, Durant. Durantin, Maractus, where's that? Hang on. Uh, okay, that's below Lavender Town and that grass. To the side of Fuchsia. Maybe I should look for that. Maractus is a Pokemon I completely keep forgetting exists. Let me see here. What the hell am I doing? Maractus, 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 there it is. It's also right above Lavender Town. Before Rock Tunnel and that Grass Patch, I need Cut for that. I can also just go to the side here and do that, why not? Maractus is a mon, we should get done and out of the way, I guess. Hmm, ouch. Oops. Bicycle. I need to just go up a little bit. Is there even grass I can get there that I don't need, that I need cut for though? I'm not sure. There's the grass. And I need cut for it, don't I? Damn. Please don't. 
Damn it! Getting using cut in this game is such a pain in the butt. Because you can't there's no move deleter in this game in this generation. And I don't want to put it on my main team. That's just annoying as hell. I don't think there's any I can access any of the grass on this route without cut. That's the problem. Ah, you see what I mean? It's blocked off there too. Wow, your badges are too cool. I don't even think using Surf would let me go around one. It's, I don't think it's possible for me to access uh, any any of the locations Maractus is in without my cut user. Like, all four of those dots on the map there, completely sealed by cut in order to access the grass. That's annoying. Well... I already got my team out. I don't even... The problem is I can't even teach Cut to Amoongus. Like, I can't even use that on him. That's such a pain in the butt. Oh, well. I took out the bear. I can go backwards through Rock Tunnel. I'm almost tempted to do just that. Yeah, I need Cut to access that, but... Hang on, let me go around them. Yes. What? Oh. I didn't realize Gen 1 did that. Okay. Alright then. Now I learned. Punch the pigeon. Because I've had quite enough of it. They just approach me. Six pigeons? I don't think so. Pitov does just look like a regular pigeon. Pitov, Pitov's um official art is just cute. It's just like a pudgy little pigeon, and you love him. He's just fun. But Star Raptor was just cooler to me. Blitzel. He's just a little pigeon. You just want to. You just want to give it a head pat. Evos are atrocious. Ah, oh, pheasant's kind of all right, but it's nothing that outstanding compared to the rest of them. I think. Pidov's or er, Pidgeotto's Japanese name is Pigeon. That doesn't surprise me. Isn't Haunter's Japanese name just Ghost? Like uh, for Gen One in Japan, they were kind of just naming them. Like generic, like, generic enemy names rather than, like, Pokemon names, if that makes sense. I wonder. No, we can't do that. Can you go in here? No, you can't. <laughs> Beedrill is just called Spear. Yeah, sounds about right. And then there's just that guy there. Uh, pain in the butt. I don't want to get cut out. <laughs> Ampharos' Japanese name is Thunder. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was Zapdos' Japanese name. Yeah, Ampharos isn't Thunder. Alright, if that's the case, I'll have to come back for Maractus. That's Arua out of the way. I guess I'll just head to Victory Road, because why not? Zapdos is Thunder, and Jolteon is Thunders. Oh... Like, those names is in, like, English, right? Like, it's one of those things where, like, they put- they just use, like, a, a different language's word to make it sound cool, but in the actual language, it just sounds really lame, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm sure the word ghost sounds cool if you don't speak English, but... <laughs> then, um... But when you do, it's like, yeah, it's just ghost. That's what it is. There you go. Just like we weebs think all Japanese words sound super cool. Cool. Let me use my bike here. There we go. To the end. I wonder. I know I can't pass this guy without the damn boulder badge, but does this count as the gym statues? No, it doesn't work. They don't count as proper gym statues. I don't think you can skip getting the boulder badge. 
Uh, it's not that much more clever, but in Japan, uh, spear backwards in, in uh, is B in Japanese. Okay, that's what it means. What am I doing here? Surfing time. Past the coast of doom. I wonder, is it possible to skip any of the badge checks in this game? Because I'm pretty sure that, like, uh, the line that checks you, or forces you to stop, is, like, extended way out of bounds. So maybe, even if you did an out-of-bounds glitch or something, like, I, you just get stopped anyway. Anyways, here we go. Back to Victory Road. No, no, not the Super Rod. Let's fight the Pokemon in here, chat. I don't think I really bought the potions and stuff I needed. Careful. Do not use that stuff. Too bad I can't run into shinies in this. That's one thing I regret about Gen 1 is not being able to... Well, it's more like not being able to know if you encounter shinies. I mean, it's not going to happen, but it'd be nice to know, right? That makes me wonder. Back in the day, I mean... How many kids do you think there were that transferred their starter from red, blue, and yellow and found out that it was shiny in Gen 2? Because that's like an obscenely rare rare instance for people. There we go. I'm sure that people, like, uh, farmed for shinies, though. I know people farm for Gen 1 shinies. But, like, there's a way to check the stats to know if they'll be shiny. I know people like to hunt for Mewtwo back when, uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow got Virtual Console releases. There we go. Because it's just certain things about the stats determine if a Pokémon is shiny. So when the when the Gen 1 Pokémon gets sent over the Gen 2, there's just a way their stats can be to make them shiny, giving them the same odds. There he is. There's the girder. Oops. Yeah, just about everybody might have thought their first shiny was a glitch Pokemon and ran away from it. I didn't necessarily think that. <laughs> but a lot of kids did. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Shinies are one of those things that's just like, damn. Y'all lost out on one of them at some point. I'm sure there's probably a kid or two out there that probably thought their game was was uh, messed up when they got Pokerus. It's almost horrifying when the Nurse Joy just starts telling you, like, oh, your Pokemon have Pokerus, that's it, goodbye. You're like, what does that mean? What am I supposed to do with that information? Do I delete my game? What's wrong with it? I never wanted to lose to anybody. Let's go get the other item here. Stoutland use strength. Friggin' odds of Pokerus. One in frickin' 20,000, 21,000 about, I believe. Oh, there's Swoobat. Um, I could just catch this. I, I could just catch it, get it out of the way. Because I haven't evolved Woobat yet, right? Why not? I killed it. Alright, it's fine. Just have to be careful. No more room for items. Oh boy, I forgot to do the thing. We'll restore... What's this? Thunder? Who can learn it? Stoutland. Fire Blast... Chandelier can, that's it. Uh, are there moves I don't need on you? Because I'm not going to use this TM otherwise. Fire Spin Nightshade, I mean... Fire Spin in Gen 1 is kind of broken, though, so... I have the coin case again. Fissure. Come on, which one of these can I just throw away? Sky Attack. I, I want to sell some of this stuff, though, as well. Mega Kick. Explosion. I'm never going to use this. 
I'm just gonna toss it. I need this rare candy so I can get a quick evolution for the decks later. Back we go. Volcarus odds haven't changed, I'm pretty sure. I know the shiny odds are like 1 in 4,000 4, now. But Pokerus, I'm pretty sure, is still like around 1 in 20,000-ish. There goes the rock. Alright, gonna use strength again. Come on, Stoutland. Oh, I didn't even move! You found a Crocker Rock. I'm getting hit by an earthquake! Just waiting for it. Surf has, like, the worst animation in Gen 1. I hate it. Alright, Bear's leveling up. Probably put someone else up front now. Archaeops is 40. Extra 41. Stoutland 42. Alright, let's put Archaeops up. This probably isn't the best spot for to train Archaeops, actually, but depends on the Pokemon I encounter. No, I didn't mean to do that. You know what? I think I'll put... Uh, you know what? Fine, I'll just keep Archaeops. Maybe I can kill something with the trainers, at least. Dwebble. Alright, good, good, good. Neutral hit with Fly and Rock Throw on this thing, so let's try it. Oh, Faint Attack hits through that. Duh, I forgot about that. Gen 1 rules! We don't make them, we just follow them. Excellent. Victory Road is such an annoying slow dungeon, but... I just gotta get through it so I can fly back to Indigo Plateau. I didn't make it all the way through last time, I'm pretty sure, right? You get stuck, try moving boulders. There's Girder again. This I could probably just one-shot with Wing Attack or something. Oh, not a one-shot, but it's fine. That could hurt. Good, good. Ah, so you wish to challenge the Elite Four? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I want to fight the Elite Four? What else does there to do with my life? Aside from catch 40 more Pokemon I'm missing for this dex. I have Crunch on Archaeops, didn't I? Yes, I do. Guess I'm getting lots of stuff from that. Behem. We've seen this already, right? Ooh. Squished head compared to the first one. I gotta get myself one of these. Uh-oh. Soon enough, chat. Soon enough. No need to worry about Elite Four today. Our team shall grow stronger than ever. When I need to train for Elite Four, I'll just get the EXP all out. And then just get a bunch of level-up mons. The wild Pokemon, especially in the last, the last room, will be just uh, high enough level for sure. I hope. I know I can't depend on the uh, Cerulean Cave anymore since that's that got kind of got nerfed. I kind of use Rock Throw here. Why would I do that? Okay, that's fine. No kill. All right, you're getting there. You got me. Let me see here. Excadrill, 41. 
Let's put you up front. More than enough trainers to take out. I don't need to bother with this fella anymore. Here we go. Come on, I'll whip you. That's not good. Shouldn't say that to strangers you meet alone in a cave, chat. Damer wants to fight. I always forget about this trainer class. It was put back in Fire and Leaf Green, right? I think it still is. Did the Tamer still have the whip in Fire and Leaf Green? I don't even remember. Yeah, double slap. Double slap on a steel type. Make him pay for making the Uwu face. Oh, here it comes. Hit five times, why don't you? I am gonna have to try again for Volfalant later, I know. It's just the way the dex works. I should probably focus on making a path through this place. Than just fighting all the loose trainers. Alright, no levitate on this, so I don't have to worry about a thing. Oh! Face. Went from Uwu face to whatever that is. Come on, Excadrill. 42. I got whipped. Now, how did I do this part again? I'm trying to remember where the boulder is, the button. It's on the far left of this room, right? I gotta start pushing it from here. It's my Seton. Alright, for this part, I probably should use at least one repel. This requires strength to move. Everyone's favorite part of Victor Road. This is the only place in the game where uh, strength is actually required in Gen 1. It's very annoying. Strength was not a fun mechanic in this game, that's for sure. Push. 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 Just keep pushing. It always looks like to me that you're just moving like a giant jawbreaker or something. Now have I fought that lady over there? See, in Foam Islands you use it there, but it's not required. Trainers live to seek stronger opponents. The cool trainers also have whips. And an Amoongus. Earthquake will do neutral enough damage. It's fine. I don't know the stats of Amoongus at all, actually. I don't know if it has good defense, special defense, or whatever. Oh, he's going for Solar Beam. Keyword going for. He's not using it. He's not going to land it. He's going to sit there and die. Audino. Oh, I don't really have any fighting type moves on me, do I? But I hate this weird little alien thing, so we're taking it out. Well, I was going to take it out regardless. It's the enemy Pokemon. What am I going to do? Let it live? Never. Audino wasn't changed to fairy type in later gens, right? It was, it, was, it was a Pokemon that kept its normal type, I'm pretty sure. It's a lot of experience. Alright, have we seen Zwilus? Zwilus. See if the bear can just hit it with ice. Okay. Lance is gonna have Hydreigon, absolutely for sure. 
the Mega version has Fairy type. Okay. I regularly forget that Audino has a Mega Evolution. It's like the only Gen 5 Pokemon that does for some reason. Oh, so strong. I get out of my way. Not too much further in here, but I gotta have to fight some of these. I'll take them out. Only the Chosen can pass here. Because, you know, you need strength to go back into Zick Victory Road from the end. So I may as well take the trainers out. Stun Fist Sprite also looks pretty good. Luckily, I have HM Cut on me right now. I'll have to teach to a random Pokemon and go back for Maractus later. Oh, how annoying is that? Jellicent. Uh, I'll let Stalin do it. Because why not? It's King Babom, everybody. I'm not worried about it. All the Pokemon trainers here, their levels are about the same as mine. That worries me, but since I have to grind a bit to level up some of the Pokemon for the decks, it's 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 fine. Samurott. Okay, I, I actually I know what that sprite looks like. What am I sitting excited for? Oh no, that's a different one than the one I'm used to seeing. Why is it standing up? Why is it standing up, chat? What happened to the good Samurott sprite? What are the, why are they using this one? Uh-oh. He's charging up, chat. Did I just... I, I just got 2256 with strength. Not good. Just got that. Got that out. Critical hit. There it goes. I don't believe it. I do. Alright, I'm just gonna move on. That's to get out there. Let me push this over here. And then there's the glitch where the bike music plays. If I use the bike again, it... Yeah, it just restarts the bike music. Falling down that stuff. The glitch. It just keeps playing because it can. All those swords dance boosts just for the critical hit to ignore it. Yeah, that was funny. Alright, we're about done here. And there's the exit. We can get off the bike now and hear the cool music. I like how when you get here, they gotta they gotta put you through one last maze, just because. Bell's effect wore off. Yeah, that's fine. But we made a chat. Can't use surf on these gym statues, can I? <laughs> Nearly had 24 hours with this. I don't think I ever tried it using on this these ones before, but it should work. Nope, these ones are different gym statues. They don't have the water tile. Heal me up, Joy. Hope to see you again. All right. Obviously, I'm not fighting the Elite Four right now. But, so if we're going to do some training, I want to get some uh, Mon and, or some Mons evolved here. Let me see here. Excadrill should be fine to keep. Oops, this box is full of Pokemon. Alright, yeah, I figured that would be happening. Uh, Girder and Bulldor, Palpitoad. Damn it. What level would they evolve? Would it be a pain in the butt to do this. Toga, Moongus. I 
Got to level up Tertoga. That's one of them. Take out some of them. This should be good for now, so I can keep the rest of the team having stuff. Archaeops, Stoutland, okay. Chandelier can go for now. Oops, forgot to withdraw. Hang on. Might be a bit slow with the... It might be a bit slow with the EXP all, but still, something. Alright, let's deposit stuff that I don't need no more. Don't need the coin case anymore. We got that taken care of. I don't need TM Thunder. Let me just deposit that. Don't need the Sylph Scope. What Pokemon evolves quickly with rare, rare candy? I'm not sure. Might be one of the Mons I have right now, but... Anyways. Alright, let me go head back and do uh, Victory Road. I'm keeping a Strength user with me so I can battle the uh, trainers in there. Did I not take the EXP all? I didn't take the EXP all, did I? I didn't take the EXP all. What's wrong with me? Why don't I get the things I say I'm gonna do, chat? I can also just teach Cut to one of the Pokemon I'm training and go get Maractus right quick as well. I don't know what Bruno's gonna have. It wouldn't surprise me if he has a Gigalith just because... He should be fine. Good plan. I don't think any of the mons I took, though, can learn cut. Let's try this right quick. Archaeops can, but not these three. Whatever, it's fine. All right, let's head back to Victory Road, get some level ups for my own Pokemon, and get some more stuff knocked out for the decks. I do really wish that I the high-level Pokémon were still in Cerulean Cave. I don't think I like that change in the very end. Because it's not as good for training. Okay, what do we got here? Luckily, I can now just use Dig to go right back to uh, the Indigo Plateau. So let's see how much we get out of this chat. That probably wasn't the best move to use, but whatever. Oh, never mind. Worked. 46. 22? Oh my god. More like the EXP all for nothing. Damn. That's bad. Only 4,511 to go. Maybe if I fight a real Pokemon that's not Dwebble. Damn. Is it really this bad at the high levels? All for none and none for all. Maybe this will be better, because he's a high high level thing. And not just a dweeb! Earthquake. Oh, it's been a long stream today, chat. Luckily, I'm taking tomorrow off. I have been enjoying the playthrough, by the way, of uh, Return of the Oberdin. That has been great. I was really into that today. I'm probably going to continue that for, like, sure on um, Friday. I just wanted to squeeze in some extra Unova Red because I've been busy with, like, uh, Diamond, of course. 82? Oh, that's something. That's worth caring about. <laughs> oh, man. What if I fight a trainer? How good will it be then? I just fought that trainer. What am I what am I doing? Let me go back down. <laughs> EXP all is so disappointing. How am I supposed to train with this crap? And now I'm not even finding the good Pokemon. an encounter. You get an encounter. Everybody finds an encounter. Just let me see the trainer battle before I leave in disappointment. Please, game. Oh, there, too. 
Okay, this might give something. I hope. If I only need to give the po give them, like, one level up. Okay, let's try a new experiment when I go back, chat. What if I just take in one Pokemon? Uh, or two Pokemon. One that fights and the one that gets experience. It'd probably give a lot more. Basically, the EXP share at that point, normally. Oh, that wasn't that great, but whatever. You can certainly say it's given me something. Highest level area in the game, and they're getting 82 per kill. That's so bad. She got three here. He's so angry. He's assumed an offensive stance. He must be defeated. Probably give decent experience. Mine went at this stage in the game. He's playing a dangerous game. How do any of these people expect to get through, uh, the Elite Four? Okay, 129 per Pokémon. That's not bad now, but... It's still not that great. Like, it's not really worth mashing through the messages for this. We haven't seen Sawsbuck, have we? I wish I had- I wish I hadn't. This is Bambi when it sees the hunter that shot its mom. It's rushing towards him. Spring form. Oh, critical hits. Wonderful. Maybe I should let Excadrill faint so I can get more experience on the other mons. Oh, you were supposed to die. Oh well. Good enough. 118. Ah. Uh. No one is leveling up like this, oh. Superior. No, finish me off, so we can, uh, spend it, send out more here. I'll send out Archeops and just use Fly. Now that there's five instead of six, this should work much better. Like, I already knew the XP all wasn't that great in this game, but damn. I thought maybe at least the high-level areas might give something a little more. Let's see what we get here. Thousand. Okay, it's a little better. Not still, it's just not really worth the time and effort this takes. Now I gotta change boxes and everything too. Let, let's see how close everyone is. Not even close to a level up. Not even close to a level up. Not even close to a level up. So bad, chat! <laughs> Let's go put the EXP all away again. It'd be better to just do switch-ins. Not even worth the box effort to bring in two Pokemon. Wrong thing. I gotta get Maractus anyway, so... Good enough. I wonder if Palpatode and Girder would be good enough to train on their own anyway. I don't know what level they want me to have for them, but we'll see. Hang on. What moves do Girder have? Low kick. Alright. Can't really use it on the rock types and stuff though there. Bubble Beam, Mud Shot, Disable... Okay. We go down here. I probably shouldn't use the Missing No Glitch in this game. I, that would probably, uh... A break... That would, using it on a game that's already modded would just absolutely destroy it even further. Alright, Encounters. Your move. And you've disappointed me yet again. What's the back sprite on this thing look like? That's fine. What do you got? Anything? Anything good? 
You're already earning way more than you would have with the EXP all, that's for sure. Alright, there's still trainers to go and fight, so why not? Let's go do that. Send out my big Pokemon for this. Good enough, good enough. Oh, damn. Just one level on Girder ought to, ought to be fine. I hope. Very hope. <sighs> Victory Road! I'm not gonna bother with Timber. I'm not getting very good spawns in this place. Come on, give me the good Pokemon. I said the good Pokemon, game. The good Pokemon. Let me just try this. You can't even one-shot a Pokemon. Okay, 300. I heard rumors of a child prodigy. That could perhaps be me, the ten-year-old Red from Palatown. Ferrothorn. Well, I didn't bring my fire for this one. I'm gonna regret this. Probably better to try using Fly with Archaeops now. That's all I can really do. No defeatist on Archaeops, so I'll be fine. Just spam fly and hope it doesn't miss. It's neutral damage, don't lie to me, game. X attack, maybe two wings into wing attacks will be here. Come on! There you go. Girder got a little bit from that. Alamomola. Looks like it's gonna be another switch. That's fine. Mm, you know what, I'll try the submission, because why not? It's spam an X attack on a water type. That's how you know he means business. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to kill it. Stoutland. Oh. I, I I switched this turn. I switched this turn. Let's just count last move hit in this game. Must. Well alright then. So much for that. I don't know why this thing has counter, that's weird to me. Did it always have that in the main games or what I don't know? Good. Heat more. Now I'm just gonna send out Girder again. And then just send an Excadrill. In Gen 1, counter only works on fighting and normal type attacks. Nothing else. It's awful. Really, really awful. Not even all physical attacks. Literally just normal and fighting type. I don't know why they did that. I'm not even sure what the dam how the damage calculation works in the counter, because it's just that bad. Okay, good. Main team's level enough, that's why I'm doing it. The rumors were true! You beat Giovanni of Team Rocket. Max revive, we take that. Okay. I don't think anybody used counter in Gen 1. Like, what was the point? I think the most annoying thing about Gen 1, though, was uh, the fact you couldn't check a move's, like, power and effects. Like, that was a thing you couldn't do until Gen 2. We all just kind of guessed. We're like, oh, 
It's flamethrower, it's fire type. It, it does enough damage, I guess. I guess I'll use this move. Oh boy, I think the only- you had to have like a guidebook or something. Very fun. I'll just low kick it. There's so many TMs in Gen 1 that you just think might be good, and then you use them and you're like, wow, this sucks. Never doing that again with my life. Come on, Girder. I know you got it in you. I know you can win. I know you su can succeed. I'm begging you, though, man. It's looking like it might be better in the in the long run. Oh, low kick and flinch? I don't recall that. It might be better in the long run to uh, evolve off the Elite Four for some of these Pokemon. All right, all right, we got it. Nice. All right, first time seeing the sprite. Let's go. Yeah, you needed like a guidebook or something to really be able to tell the powers of moves back in the day. He looks like he's holding like corks, giant corks. Well, we got it. Palpitoad time. Now, chat, what level is, uh, what level does Palpitoad normally become Seismitoad? Because I have no idea. I've never used one. <laughs> Ouch. Good as it can look for Gen 1, I guess. I look like a tentacle from behind. A really bad-looking tentacle, if that makes sense. If you can get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four. Luckily, the Dex is really coming along for this one. This has been a good playthrough. I like it. I really want to do some more... Do some more Pokemon, uh... Pokedex playthrough stuff, along with some shiny stuff. I really kind of want to tr give that a try. Now, can I do this? Yeah, I should be fine to do this. Just Bubble Beam. I didn't bother teaching myself Surf, because who cares? Normally, it's level 36. Okay. Then, yeah, one level up should do this. I'm not going to bother with the Rare Candy, I guess. Alright. Last couple days, though, it's just been, like, storming outside. I'm wait I'm still waiting for my capture card to arrive in the mail. Like uh, last week, I was I was borrowing Dylan's. I need to get in. I need to give it back to him. Uh, what should I use for this? Actually, Archaeops is fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, Dragon Rage. All right. Yeah, I ordered a, a new capture card. I'm waiting for that to arrive in the mail so I can use it for stuff. I had, I borrowed Dylan's for like Pokemon release. And I record, just recorded a bunch ahead while I could. Don't kill. Please, no kill. Wait, this... Oh, that kill. It kill, chat. Ah, I'll just let Excadrill finish him off. No, the other capture card doesn't belong to me. So I'm just trying to get my own in the mail right now. There we go. Philance. All right, Palpito, get in there. He's gonna kill me with the stab, like body slam or something. Excadrill can tank anything. Oh, horn attack. Well, that's not that bad. The annoying thing about this Pokemon is that for the, I have to find it in the Safari Zone. Like, there's no workaround. I just have to get luck. Like, just I have to get stupid lucky in the Safari Zone. And every time I go to check for it, I always, I find one. I don't catch it, and it goes away. And then I just feel bad. And then I'm like, am I in the right area? That's the story of that. Asprey, nah, you lost. Get your stuff. By the way, chat, I was wondering, do y'all still see dislikes on the YouTube videos? Because, like, I it, people have been talking about that being gone for, like, weeks now, but I still see it. Like, I still see them just fine, so... I guess it hasn't been, like, rolled out for me specifically yet. 
Oh, you can still see them? Okay. Because I remember just a while ago, people were like, they got rid of them. I'm like, oh, it hasn't happened for me yet. And then I, the other day, I'm like, wow, it still hasn't happened for me yet. Are they still getting rid of them? There we go. I don't even check. Well, I don't look, I'm checking like my own videos because it shows me that. Like, who cares? It's just like when I'm watching, um, like other people's YouTube videos, I still see them. There we go. Yeah, it no longer displays the amount. Seems they're gone for you now. Oh, Dino! Finally! Okay, let's see if I can... Would Body Slam kill this? Probably not. Let's see if I can paralyze with it. Oh! It has Roar. Of course it does. Of course it has Roar! At least I know it's- I can find it on that floor, so let's look there. Bubble Beam, I guess. No, YouTube wants you to comment over dislike in any way, chat. That's the thing. Like, for when it comes to, like, comments, YouTube doesn't care what the comment says. It, it cares how many comments there are. Because if whether you, whether you hate it or like the video, if you comment on it, you're telling YouTube, hey, this video is worth interacting with. Let's push more stuff like this and you're recommended. So if you click on stuff just to comment on how much you dislike it, YouTube is going to keep recommending it to you. That's how it works. There you go. Maybe I'll see another dino. I mean, people are just mean anyway. They'll just end up in the spam filter. Blah, spam filter. Bubble beam it. There we go. Can I get Seismitoad? There we go. I'm scared to see it. Have we seen it before, though? No, yeah, we have. I think my rival actually has one. It's doing a little dance. I mean, actually, dislikes do the same thing. Like, if you if you do that, you're telling YouTube that it's worth interacting with. Like, that, they don't care. They, they don't care if you like or dislike it. They, they just care if you're interacting with it so that they can push it. You're feeding the algorithm, chat. That's just how it goes. Excellent. Alright, now let's get rid of these mons. I have to change the box, though. Let's go to the bottom one here, since I got mons I'm never going to use again. Deposit. Seismitoad. Pause it. There it goes. Change box. So is there anything in box three that I can level up? Let me check that. Withdrawal. There's Pharaoh Seed, Axew. Oh man, that's gonna take a while. Evangela, that's done. Lyperd. Darumaka. Chat, what level does Darumaka evolve? Larvesta. Oh, that's gonna... I'm gonna need the Elite Four for that one. Ducklet. 37-ish. Okay, what about Ducklet? Can I get that one quick? There's Tepig. Thirty-five for Ducklet. Oh man, that's kind of high for a duck. Spot. Who the hell did I name Spot? Electros is Thunderstone, right? No, I, Electros is the final form. I already did that. Hmm. Ducklet is also 35. Okay. Hmm. I need to see who Spot is. I don't remember. That one. Oh, right. This was the in game trade one. Alright. 
Duck level 30 is probably the highest one I could get for that, but... Hmm. Let's take that out. I gotta train the main team by doing this anyway, so it's fine. Stoutland. Hang on, is there anything I can train that has can learn cut? Probably Pharaoh Seed would. Hang on, let me take it out. I think this was the highest level I could get Pharaoh Seed at. What level does Pharaoh Seed evolve? Let me know that too. Yeah, I'm gonna have most of the time or I'm I'm doing this to mainly train my regular team for a bit first. And then I'm going to uh there we go. And then, chat, I'm going to, uh, what am I trying to say here? What am I trying to say here? Then I'm going to beat the Elite Four, so I can start taking Pokemon into the Elite Four to level grind them faster. 40 for Pharaoh Seed, alright. Because some of these Mons are just too powerful. But I also have to keep going in Victory Road, because I have to catch Dino. That thing knows, and now we know that thing knows Roar, so, yeah. That's also annoying about uh, g the Safari Zone for Bofalant, is I can't train Pokemon, because it's a frickin' Safari Zone. Oh, hang on. Can I teach Cut? Please teach Cut to Pharaoh Seed. I kinda just assumed it could. Are you serious? Really? Give me a break, game. Why does no one learn Cut except... Oh, whatever. It's a spiky grass type. It can't cut. All right, then. Well, back to the road, chat. This is exactly why I hated Cut. <laughs> I don't want... Why can't it use that? Oh, whatever. Okay, we're gonna keep hunting for Dino. Tortoga is level 40, wasn't it? Or was 30-something. But let's get Duck done. Ugh, how annoying. Gotta catch the dino, chat. I can't really... I don't need a Moongus for training, but having a Moongus would make catching the dino much easier. So I'm just gonna have to YOLO it, I guess. Oh! Speaking of which... It's level 42. I can just barely see the top of that duck's head. And somehow Great Balls are just better at full health, because why the hell not? Gen 1 mechanics, baby. You're gonna kill this duck and I hate you. Hold the controller upside down. Nope. Oh. I think I should just go for the body slam on Stoutland. Pokemon AI and, um... Yeah, Pokemon AI and Gen 1. Or no, sorry. All wild Pokemon AI. Damn it. Yeah. In every Pokemon game... The wild AI is literally just pick a random move. There, it has no strategy. So every move, it's just a 1 in 4 chance, essentially. Well, now I gotta hear the beeping on the duck, because I was too... Oh, that's Bulldore. I should be able to... evolve Bulldore pretty easily. I have one in my PC. I could just use the rare candy on it, which is probably more than likely. Been a while since I even seen one of these things. Voldor very much is a middle evolution. You look at it and you think, yeah, that's a middle evolution. That's all you can really say about Voldor. You can't hate it, and you can't love it, because it's a middle evolution. See if I can just bubble beam it right quick like this. Nice. Let's see if we can find dinos, chat. Okay, Boldor again. Can I be stupid and just try and bubble beam it? Maybe if I didn't have no health left. Also, the duck learns drill pack. Okay, don't kill, don't kill. It killed my duck, chat. What the duck? It killed the duck! Uh, I guess I'll just send out Turtoga. Turtoga probably has water moves, right? Oh, look at the little baby turtle. That's so cute. I got water gun. 
I should probably teach it Surf just for the sake of damage. I'm trying to level it up. When it comes to middle water evolutions, I actually think uh, Dewat and War Turtle look sick. They look pretty nice. Prinplup is Prinplup. Croconol is yeah, Croconol. Let's go back and heal. Uh, Marsh Tomp is also kind of ill. There we go. I can't believe he's just leveling up in Victory Road. He could be resetting for Shinies right now. Why would he do something so repetitive? I I honestly forgot what the Froakie's middle evolution even looks like. That one is extremely forgettable to me. Uh... Uh, you know what? I don't even remember what the middle evolution of uh, Poplio even looks like. I cannot remember it. Oh, that one. Yeah, I, I know that one now. Yeah. I, I genuinely couldn't remember it. <laughs> I genuinely couldn't remember what that one looks like. Uh, I remember the middle evolution of Inteleon. Uh, because it's the one that has, like, the... People meme about it looking like the Persona 3 protagonist. I wonder, can I get away with Drill Peck in this? I'm gonna take a chance. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's not a good idea. And he got the rock throw. Why you gotta kill my duck? <laughs> oh, she... Ducklet is very weak, isn't it? Take it out. Make it pay. I wonder if there's a place I could take Ducklet to train it by itself. Cause... Hang on, do I still have HM3 on me? I don't think I do. Gen 1 bag space. Nope, I don't get defeatist on Archeops in this game, because there's no ability. You gotta turn the downside into the upside here. I replaced my Unpheasant with Archeops. And it's very obviously much stronger. I'm not even gonna bother switching for that. Attack stat is pretty nice. I think I, ki I killed this thing. Was it Ducklet that did that? Yeah, I used Bubble Beam and it died. Bubble doesn't have special defense, right? Hang on, I'm stretching slightly here. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot the. Arceus Legends game. That that uses, like, starters from, like, different regions. That's, like, stuff you only ever seen in, like, ROM hacks and that. That's just, like, still a surreal thing for me to think about. Cyndaquil was one of them, right? Cyndaquil and Oshawott? Damn, it's gonna be hard for me to choose. Girder, here it is. Let's switch again. Send out the Archeops. I don't remember who the grass type even was. Who was the grass type? Rowlet, thank you. You know what? That's actually a pretty sick lineup. Those are some of my favorite starters. Damn. Decidui is pretty sick. I like that one a lot. And Rowlet is a little hoot. Ah, still no uh, single level up. Come on now. Ducklet might be getting saved for, uh... You know... Hang on. Elite 4 grind. Oh, I probably will do a dex playthrough of Legends. Let's see here. I'm in a much more of a Pokemon mood recently with, uh, like, you know, the remakes coming out, the new thing coming out. And I've just been in a mood to try doing some new things for Pokemon on both channels. 35 or 395. Blah, 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 blah. The duck is slowly dying, chat. How has it not leveled up yet? 406. At least let me get one level on this thing before I take it back forever. Bubble Beam is fine to use this level here. I know, I know that we can see Teddy Ursa's wandering around. That's good. Oh, 
was hoping for a Teddy Ursa regional variant, but we can't all have winners. But we can still have bears, chat. Lots and lots of bears. What? It, oh, that thing. Sometimes I forget what the silhouettes even are in this game. This should give me a little bit. Hang on. Excadrill can take this out. Faint attack. You know, we mentioned Whirlwind and Roar being useless in Stadium 1. I feel like I'm forgetting another move. Teleport, that's it. Chat, does Teleport have an animation program for it in Stadium 1 and 2? Because it literally wouldn't have a purpose, right? Unlike Whirlwind and Roar, which, uh... Literally wouldn't be able to, uh... Like, be... They could be used in Stadium 2 because they got the effect, but... In Stadium 1, they're literally worthless. Thirty-one. You did it, duck. Okay, now how much the next level, duck? Oh, yeah, we're not doing that right now. Wait, no, it'd be faster to just use Dig right here. It'll take me to the center. Is there even an in-battle effect for... Wait, there's an in-battle effect for teleport in Gen 8. Is there? What is it? You mean like trainer battle, of course, right? What does it do now? Does teleport does have an animation? It does nothing. You're talking about Stadium 1 and 2, right? It's a priority switch out in Gen 8 now. Okay. It's like a slow U-turn. Yeah. Oh, it's a negative priority switch out move. That is weird, but or I guess that it's better than it did doing nothing before. Trick room strats? I don't know. Chat, I don't know anything about, like, competitive Pokemon gameplay or anything like that. I sorta, I sorta looked at it a little bit in Gen 6. Seems neat, but it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, I don't know if I could, I have, like, the time to, like, the, put in the time or effort to really do anything. Who knows, maybe in the next time a Pokemon Generation rolls around, I could do some online battles or something. Alright. Hmm. Basically, mons like Slowbro and Clefable can take a hit and let something in safely. Okay, I sort of get it. What is it? Box 3. Right, let's put you away. Now, do I have anything in here that I can just teach cut? That would be great. Spot, ducklet, something I want to raise that can learn cut. Darumaka, definitely could not. Zekrom, Axew. People don't talk about Battle Revolution because nobody played it. <laughs> it was a game that came out. It was just Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 with, like, less content, essentially. There we go. There's, like... I, 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 like, I owned that game, and I played it, but, like, there was, just, like, nothing to really do in it. It got old real fast. Anyways, I wanted to change the box to... Excellent. Pawnyard. Now that thing has to learn cut, right? But what else do I have here? Basculin, Mianfu, Dredigan, Golit, Pawnyard. Wait, second Pawnyard? 28. Trubbish, Rufflet. Oh, I'm gonna hate leveling that up. Athena, Aselgor, Swadloon. Throw, Scolipede. I guess I better take a Pawnyard for now. Battle Revolution, I guess, was just like, if you have Diamond and Pearl, you hooked it up to that to see, make your battle battles look cool or something with your friends, but it wasn't really that exciting. Oops. Alright. Now let's go get Maractus. The Miraculous Maractus. That's probably would be like its evolution or something. Miraculous. They bother for that. Okay. If Pawnyard couldn't learn cut, I would have been unhappy. Alright, who cares? Let's 
Let's find and catch the thing. Aside from both lands, I think Maractus might be the last one-off mon I need to catch. It might be a rare spawn up there, though, but it is the only place I can find it. I don't recall if they, update, if they updated most of the models in Revolution. Pretty sure they did for a good chunk of them. But I, I didn't Battle Revolution also have, like, the weird shinies that Stadium 1 and 2 had? Like, Stadium 1... Uh, not Stadium 1. Stadium 2 had some weird shiny sprites. There we go. Let me swing attack this. Get Archeops experience for whatever reason. Like, what is it? I think, like, Suicune in particular, it has, like, uh, instead of, like, a purple mane, it has, like, a black mane. But the actual shiny sprite is essentially just, like, a, a brighter-looking Suicune. At least we'll get some experience points. It's something. Ah, delicious. Finish my drink here. Okay. I don't know anything about the Poke Park games. Those games were, well, they were obviously made for a younger audience, so I never bothered with them. I know a lot of people apparently like them now. This didn't seem like something I wanted to play. I think they made, like, what, two of them? Hang on. Maybe Ponyard would be fine to use here for killing the Mons. Do I have a potion? Super potion, even? Nah, he should be fine. He should be fine. At least something here. Wild Shellnut with the Charizard cry appeared. I'm trying to stretch slightly here. You can just... Ponyard's battle sprite is just the top of his head. Look at that. Yeah, I'm barely doing damage with this. That was a critical hit. Ew. Gentleman has to have that try. That cry. Oh, look who it is! Maractus is probably like the one percent spawn. Oh dear. I don't think Ponyard's really going to damage anything at these moves. It's probably another mon I should just save for the Elite Four grind. I am the right spot, I'm pretty sure. I should double check the decks. Now I think we can get another Mystery Dungeon. Like, it was just like last year they made a remake of the original Mystery Dungeon. It definitely shows they have interest. Oh, what? I'm not far up enough. Alright then, never mind. I guess I am in the wrong spot. There we go. I still partially think that the reason they remade Red and Blue Rescue Team was so that they'd be able to have, like, all the models done for most of the Pokemon, because there wouldn't be an expectation to have, like, all the Gen 5 and 6 and 7 Mons in that game. So that way they could probably have, like, maybe more ready? I don't know. This dude right here. Can I just switch out? I don't know if it's a good idea to fight him. I'm gonna cough. <laughs> yeah, because Mystery, du uh, Mystery Dungeon DX had all the Gen 1, 2, and 3 Pokemon, plus any evolutions they got in later Gens. And I think it had Megas too, right? <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna cough. That was a painful cough. Ah, there we go. Ouch. Zorua here. Oh, I caught that at the, uh, the mansion last time, remember? Pretty sure. 
I didn't mean to not switch here, but it's fine. They're not giving me much experience anyway. There you go, Stoutland, you're growing up. My bird combo lost. Oh, come on. She said she found a Carbo somewhere. Oh, Pokemon. I have not played Pokemon Unite. I have, like, no interest in it. I do know I got, like, this weird email from this dude, though, about it. Um, hang on, I'm still trying to collect my voice after hacking it out of my system. There was, like, a dude a couple weeks ago. He was making, like, I, I think, like, a Kickstarter or something for, uh, coaching people in Pokemon Unite. And he just, like, I guess he spammed the email of a bunch of uh, people known for doing Pokemon content. And uh, he just kept emailing me about it. Like, hey, you should totally plug this Kickstarter. And I'm just like, no. I just, like, ignored them. Like, I do with most of those emails. But I just kind of found it amusing that that's a thing. That's a, that's a thing he was going for. I don't think it succeeded, but... All right. It just seemed like a weird thing for me. Didn't the game just come out? How do you make a Kickstarter, like, coaching people for the game that soon, then? Cub Chew. It probably will kill me before I can Metal Claw it, though. I'm gonna try. Metal Claw. <laughs> kill the bear. There we go. Bear is dead. I don't even know anything about the legality of that. I don't think it's against, uh, I don't think it's DMCA worthy to, to want to coach a game, but it's weird. Okay. Let me cut here, this has to be it. There was another weird one of those that was happening a while back. I complained about this one, and, like, I, this was, like, quite, quite some time ago, so I can make fun of it without... <laughs> caring. But, um, there were these dudes in, like, um, I, I believe they were, like, Spanish. Because, like, the emails came in, like, English and Spanish. I should check the decks to make sure I can see it in the right spot now. Hang on. Vanny, Tilly, Ractus. Yep, here we are. Right spot. Let's go. Anyways. Oh, that's not it. I got excited for a second. Anyway, whoa, I almost just dropped my controller. <laughs> Can't talk today. I'm gonna put a different mod up front, hang on. Switch. Anyways, yeah, let me try and tell the damn story for the fourth time. These guys were sending, like, out emails to a bunch of different, like, creators. And they, they were saying that they were making a documentary about Pokemon. But specifically, they were making a documentary about the truck that was next to the SSN. And the concept of their documentary was, we're gonna fly to Japan, and we're gonna interview the Pokemon devs and ask them why they did that. And I'm like, buddy, 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 buddy. You do not need a Kickstarter with a bunch of money, like, to do that. Like, they, they were essentially just getting people to try and pay for their vacation. <laughs> That's what they were doing. And it was, like, the most obvious thing. I'm pretty sure a bunch of people just made fun of them and it didn't it didn't succeed, but... Who does that? Like, they had a whole video and trailer made for it, but it's like, dude... That's... You don't need to do that. We're not paying for your vacation, dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're just gonna show up at Game Freak headquarters and they're gonna let him in there and interview him. <laughs> Mr. Game Freak, why did you put in missing no? That was just so weird to me. I didn't mean to use Dig there. Yeah, just John Game Freak is gonna be out there just answering their questions. Why is the truck there? You have to tell us the truth. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't even think of, think of anything funny to say about it. It's just... 
there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, like, fundraiser stuff like that that's very common on the internet where they say it's for one thing, but it's so obvious they're just trying to use it to get money for something else. Petili. Petalil. String. I'm trying to- I'm still kind of feel my voice messed up from that cough. Maractus, Maractus, please come out. I know you're here. The deck said you're here this time. But that is just among some of the weirder emails I've gotten over time. You'd be surprised at a lot of the offers I get, chat. <laughs> Most of the time, it's just like those YouTube networks trying to scam me. YouTube networks used to be a big thing, like, ten years ago, but ever since, like, YouTube changed their rules and stuff, they're essentially just useless, and they just try and, like, get people to sign and essentially just sponge off you. It's terrible. They're in my email, like, every day. Every time I check my inbox, it's just always- it, there's just, like, a bunch of them. Because I guess, like, they get, like, a commission or something if they're the one who signs you. So I'll have, like, five or six people every week emailing me from the same network. And then they try again, like, I'll try again, like, a month later. You can tell them no, you can block them, they just- they pick a different email. It just piles up and I ignore it at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna crunch it. It's definitely a 1 in 100 chance. The 1% thing. Run, run, and look for Maractus. The happy cactus. Yeah, there was a short time where I sent them a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog that had, like, bedroom eyes. But even that didn't stop them. It was funny, though. It was funny to me for a little while, anyway. Mildly amusing, you could say. <laughs> Probably better than half the responses they got from anyone else, but... I think nowadays it feels like a lot of those emails are also just, like, bots as well. Like, let me tell you, when you do YouTube and Twitch, you get a lot of spam. Like, a lot of spam. And I think the biggest thing is, it's also just people trying to lowball you, because... The unfortunately, uh, unfortunate reality about, like, you know, doing YouTube and Twitch for a lot of people is that... Most companies, even, like, the legitimate ones... They kinda, they're kind of hoping that you have no idea how much, like, sponsorships actually should cost. So they'll just give you, like, absurdly low offers and hope you're dumb enough to take it. <laughs> Pretty funny. I remember one time I got offered to, uh... What was it, like, put, like, a 30-second ad at the start of a video, and th their offer was, like, a box of t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. What a deal, chat. What a deal. Would you like a box of t-shirts? <laughs> that is, like, such a rip-off. I never really got the Loot Crate offers, though, because by the time I started making videos, that stuff was already dying. I remember those ads all the time, though. Oh, I didn't mean to press dig. That's not gonna hit him. Yeah. The Loot... All those, like, Loot Crate variations and stuff, though, like, I've talked about this a lot recently. That stuff was literally just garbage they bought from a warehouse and they bundled together as, like, a little fun box. And they just send, like, YouTubers to unbox- make unboxing videos with them. And it was just- they get the good stuff and you buy a subscription to that and you just get garbage. There's a reason that- that- that, uh... I'm pretty- yeah, they all went out of business, I'm pretty sure. Didn't seem very fun. It's just a bunch of dollar store crap where warehouses couldn't get rid of. Or rather, just like... Hang on a second. It's like legal reselling where 
a warehouse just has like all this excess like random like uh merchandise they need to get rid of and this company's like hey we'll buy it and then they just bundle it together and try and sell it off Excellent. My, my favorite emails, though, are the ones where they get my name wrong. Or the one where I... You no, know, actually, you know, let me change my answer, chat. My favorite ones are when I get the same email twice. Because I have two channels, right? The Casper Yellow and the Casper Blue. So, I love opening up my inbox and I see the same email twice. Just the only difference at the start is that, like, Hello, Picasper Yellow, or Hello, Picasper Blue. They just... They send me the same email twice because I have two channels. It's funny. I once got an e I, I once got one of those like uh, email offers though that um it, it started with hello Melissa. I don't know who Melissa was, but uh, they seemed to think that was me. Maybe they forgot to c change their copy and paste before they sent it, but that's definitely not my name, chat. <laughs> New people who got loot crate after seeing what random crap they would get. I knew it wasn't worth it. There we go. The emailer checking in to see if you con er, constantly to see if you've actually got their email. Yeah, there's that. The thing that also gets me a lot, chat, since I'm giving you all the behind the scenes stuff, is that every time they want to talk to you, they always want to talk to you like over like Discord call or something. They never want to do email correspondence, and there's a reason for that. I don't know the technical term for it in the business world, but. They, the reason they want to do a talk live rather than through email is because they don't want ha they don't want me to have time to think about my responses. They want to sell me on what they're trying to sell before I can think whether or not it's a good idea. And that's just dumb to me. <laughs> Pressuring you. Yeah, sure, you can just say that. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably a term for it, but... Uh, another term for it is also annoying. That's one. We still haven't seen a single Maractus chat. I'm gonna find it, it's gonna know teleport, just watch. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, uh, oh, we're gonna, te we're gonna offer you this much to do this, and uh, they don't want me to stop and Google if that's a good idea. Yeah. Know your worth, chat, because everybody's willing to undersell you. Give you pennies. And chat, you know I'm I'm not even joking. I've got I've gotten those raid shadow legends offers. Like no no joke exaggeration. The the, the offers they give, like holy crap. <laughs> Absolute potatoes they're they're offering. I heard it was oh, hey, there he is. There's a scary demon. I heard they were bad, but when I saw them for myself, damn, they're bad. Alright, let's throw great balls until it gets caught. Damn it. It wants a hug. And it should also- well, it should stay far away from me. That's what it should do. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, they- yeah, that's the thing. They want you to- they want to put you in a position where you feel guilty. That's kind of what they're trying to do. Anyways, we got the cactus chat. And the deck says... Lives in arid regions. This Pokemon moves with rhythm, making it sound like maracas. We got it. Box of t-shirts. Yeah. Well, they didn't offer me that. And I know you. some will say, like, well, you're shouting out Raid Shadow Legends now. They're, they got their advertisement. Like, everybody knows about it now. Everybody knows it's not good, too. How many of you right now watching have downloaded it? Have any of you, like, seriously spent an hour playing that? I highly doubt it. Barely anything. You know, what they do is they always offer, they always lowball you, and the people who know better will be, will, will be like, no, I'll do it for this instead. There we go. Okay, should be fine to head back to Indigo Plateau. Never even considered it. Never played it. Don't have a smartphone. <laughs> Refuse to play it. And it's also one of those things where, like, it's so... It's so well-known and annoying that you just don't want to use it out of spite. <laughs> Oops, 
see you again. Okay. Let me see that. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm trying to cough here. Box is full of Pokemon. Damn it. I guess I'll just go to five here. How about that? Now, is there anything I can evolve right quick? Because a lot of these mons, I just gotta wait for the Elite Four to be ready. Let me go try to see what I got in box one, maybe. Solosis, Steerling, Purloin, Wubat, Joltik, Timber, Blitzel, Rock and Rolla, Swaddle, Patrat, Oshawott, Lugan, Genesect. Did I get Watchhog yet? I think I may have caught that from something at some point, but it's fine. Yeah, level one here is not that great. <clears throat> box one, I mean. Where did I put the Boldor? I think it was in box four or three. Boldor, 36. That one's probably not going to work out too great. Could 37 be enough for it, though? Let me see. Oh, it's paralyzed. 3,801. Hmm. <laughs> I think the rare candy would be enough. It might be level 40 that it's ready for. Heal it, I suppose. Let me double check here. Uh, what else is in this box I can use? Crustle. Oh, I get. I did catch Durant. Okay. Zorua, I could probably rare candy that. That would be something I'd knock out. There we go. Ooh, the face. The face that just says snort. Excellent. That's another Mon taken care of. I didn't check the decks for Seismitoad and stuff, actually. Anything else here I can grab? Sawcrush, remember? This thing would probably evolve after one level as well. I think. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, it's sleeping. Of course it is. 4,000. It's not that bad. Get it out of the way while we can. Then I might go try for Bofalant. Did this thing have actually? Headbutt, side beam, hypnosis, reflect. Okay, could be fine, I guess. Let me see. I think one level on those two would do it. I'm still trying to switch them around so I can also get uh, more levels on the free Pokemon I got with me. But I'm also trying to run into Dino and see if I can also just catch a Swoobat as is. Because leveling up Woobat would be kind of annoying. Uh, There's the encounters. There's the encounters. Dread again. That's fine. Put Psybeam up front. Why well, am I strong enough to hit it? No, I'm, I'm weak. I'm too weak, chat. I don't think I'd be able to one-shot anything with this Mon. It's confused now, though. Send out Archaeops is fine. The counter's just broke again. I caught this thing in the Safari Zone a long while ago. Only thing in the Safari Zone now is literally just both land. There's nothing else. There we go. More 
97. Alright, that's good enough. A little bit for everybody, chat. I want to see my alien get strong. Super duper alien. I'm gonna stretch slightly while we stand up here. Maybe I can kill this thing one hit since, uh, special. Oops, I almost hit headbutt. I gotta get back into continuing Mystery Dungeon as well, chat. I've just been, like, trying to find time to grind gummies. I realize that's been an absolute stall. Maybe one day I'll actually get a chance to start Explorers in the Sky, but that'll be a big thing going into next year, I think. More Purity Forest as well. Yeah. There's a guy that has Dragon Rage in Stadium 1's Pika Cup. Oh, dear. My favorite Pokemon characters? That's gonna be hard to choose. I like a lot of Pokemon characters. <laughs> but personally, I'd like to go with whoever you hate the most. That seems like an answer that will cause the most discussion right now. Not much I can do except run through Mount Steel a hundred times, getting all the white gummies I need for uh, all the Cleffas and Igglybuffs and Azurils that need them to evolve. Oh, I, it's been a long while since I last talked about Sabrina. I'm gonna die. Okay. Okay, Archaeops got a level. That's good. Needs to give Stoutland another level, though. The three Pokemon I brought with me were kind of lagging behind a little bit. By the way, chat, I was also thinking for more Mega Man stuff in the coming... Right, you again. <laughs> I did Mega Man 3 recently, but I also wanted to, like, practice uh, Buster only for that. Once I get it down, I was thinking of, like, streaming that game again to just show that off. Like, I did that for Mega Man 1 and 2 as well. I didn't stream Buster only for that, though. Because I found they were a bit clunky. In those games in particular. We shall see. Rockman Soccer, yeah. I'm gonna continue streaming the Mega Man games again. It's just I'm gonna be trying... I don't think I can do first-time playthroughs on stream. It just leads to too much backseating. Yeah. I grew up with this game. You need to know how I play it. Wonderful. Okay. Getting about 500 per kill here is not bad. That the alien. I almost just said elephant instead of alien. <laughs> Ouch. I'm gonna run. Yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon characters. They're fun. I need to catch one of these, don't I? I don't think I have one at that level. I just gotta level it up once I probably get the final form. Let me see if I can body slam it with Stoutland and paralyze it. Let's try that. I don't think I can get any more rare candies in the game. I think I just used up the last of them. Like, there's no repeatable way to get rare candies in Gen 1. Wow, Stoutland, you're powerful. That's fine. I think- I don't know what the chance of Dino is. I've seen two of them today, overall. Okay, there's another one of these. Great. I know I have a Sand Dial, but I think I may have caught a Crocker Rock at one point and put it in my box. Send up a Steltland here. Let's just try Great Ball. Oh, it worked. What level does- what level is, uh, Crocodile, chat? Oh, I don't have this. Oh, never mind. Okay. They are in groups of a few Pokémon. Protective membranes cover Crocorock's eyes from sandstorms. It's level 40? Okay. Level 40, then I get the final form. So, all right, I'm just gonna level this one up. Oh, it has Dig already, cool. 5,000. I should be able to train it on its own, but let's keep finishing the Elegium here.
getting my main Pokemon leveled up as I knock some Pokedex stuff out. That's what we're doing. Because once my team is, like, mainly full as powerful as they can be, we'll just steamroll the Elite Four, and then I'll be able to just take Pokemon into the Elite Four and switch them out more easily and train. Hang on. This was something we were all prepared for, chat. If we were going to do Dex only in, in the Pokemon here, or Dex completion, we knew that the end was going to have a lot of leveling up like this. But... How much do I have? We know the total is 156 for this game. I think I have like 111, 112 now. Yeah, this game does lower the levels a little bit of some evolutions because Unova is, uh, well, 114, okay. There's some Pokemon I haven't even seen yet. It's mostly final evolutions, I think. I gotta find Dino, I gotta find Swoobat, just so I can catch them instead of evolving them. Oh yeah, I just caught Prokorok. That's why I have the more. That's fine. Stoutland. I know I can kill your body slam now. So use strength. I've had this puppy for a long time, and it's real nice, chat. Real powerful, even. I'm using six Pokemon that remains in this game. Although Superior is unfortunately really underpowered, I find. Like, really, really underpowered. I can't seem to learn a decent Grass-type move. The best I can get is... Uh, best I could get is, like, Solar Beam. So I have to have a little higher level to make up for the, the two-turn wait, because I have to tank a hit. At least I can side beam the timber, but they ain't showing up. Oh, all right, they're showing up, chat. In that weird, creepy pose we've been watching the whole time. Oh, you're faster than me. All right, then. Let's send up the croc. this crocodile chat. Oh, you can't even kill with Earthquake. You're terrible. You're so terrible, chat. No, not you, chat. I'm lying. I'm talking about the croc. Third, 13. Okay. We're getting there. I should have just used Dig. Why am I doing this? Poor, poor Teddy. It's fine. It's always fine, chat. Ah, my nose is a bit itchy. I hate that. Oh, we're nearing the two-hour mark. All right, let's try and get a few more Mons knocked out of the way, and we'll keep going with this. This may be repetitive, but hey, if y'all are watch, will watch me do 50-plus parts of Mystery Dungeon, ain't nothing wrong with this. This is relaxing to me. How many more I need? 42, right? Yeah, let me. Yeah, I did some quick basic math right there that I'm 90% confident about. Don't worry. <laughs> this is more more like slow grinding for the main Pokemon. Rather than the Dex Pokemon. It is nice to take a Pokemon game slow, yeah. Can I Psybeam you? Oh, Bug Bite. You're faster than me. The thing that carries the giant rock is faster than me. No! Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> now I gotta hear the damn beeping every time. Should've just switched. Should've just switched. Alright then, fine game. Fine, you wanna be like that? Let's switch the Crocker Rock. I just need one level off. Oh, it's self-destructing. Please, no kill. There you go. But we have more beeping here. The sick tunes. 
Nobody likes the beeping chat. Nobody. I know Dino's here. I'm convinced Dino is the one is the one percent chance Pokemon here. I saw it twice. It made me think it was a little more common, but now we never see it again. So it's probably really rare. I think one of the worst ones I had to find the one percent encounter was uh, the Cryogon Cry but this one also has uh, Roar, so that's kind of a problem. Even if I'm a higher level, Roar still activates. It's annoying. How close are you? We've been training forever. Oh, you're almost done. Good, good, good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is something that will probably finish it off. Yeah, yeah, I'm not looking forward to both lands. At this point, it's kind of too late in the episode to maybe try for it. Maybe next time. But if, it, I'll pr if I were to try at the end, I'd just be running into the Safari Zone and getting nothing. We all know it. I have to dedicate more time at once for it. I just hate how I can't also grind while doing it. Ah, come on. So close. One more Pokemon. One more Pokemon. The alien should evolve, right? I'm pretty sure it's already past the level it evolves. I hope. Alright, let's send out Archaeops. Get your Pokemon ready, chat. Damn, it's been over seven hours of streaming already? Nice. I got lots of stuff recorded ahead now, that's for sure. Only thing about uh, Return of the Oberdin is that game is... Uh, like, recording that game is just huge in file size with the footage. So it's going to be a bit of a pain to upload. I don't know if it's even going to do that well on YouTube, but I'm really into that game, and I want to play it again right next stream. Psychic. Well, just in case you don't, um... Just in case you don't evolve this level. Alright, we got it. Chat, we got the funky alien friend. Yeah! Behem. Alright, that's taken care of. Now we put the croc up here. Now then... Do want Samurai? I don't have Watch Hog yet? How do I not have Watch Hog? Or not have Watch Hog? There's Gigalith there, Zeb Strika, Fanny, Patil, Crocodile. Uh. Oh, let's not check the decks right now. Yes. Oops, go here. Oh, yeah, the levels were changed for that stuff. Where was the place I could find Watch Hog? I think I could find it in the Cinnabar Mansion. Maybe I should pop over there and you and try and train uh, Crookerock there, because I can just earthquake most of the fire types. <laughs> yeah. Playing, taking days to play some indie games is really fun. Chat like indie games are great. You never know what you're gonna ex what to expect with them. The Cinnabar. Most of the, that's where most of the cool, unique games are. You just gotta take a chance on something fun. It surprises you. Well, that's the cycle of indie games on this channel. Is I play them, they're great, and then, like, no one watches them when I put them on YouTube. No cycling around here, that's right. Flash and burn counters is so bad here! Oh, hi, Heatmore. Caught you a long while ago. So I think I might be able to run into Watch Hog here, and I can also probably reasonably train Crocker Rock, so let's look around. Because Raticate was a wild encounter here, and that's where they put Watch Hog family. There's the gears, chat. The gears! They're not that exciting, but they're certainly here. I'm pretty sure I ran into a watch hog here as well. 
I am almost positive I have. The thing I'm still worried about is I don't know if the if uh, the Pokedex evaluation will break later in the game. Because apparently in Vanilla Gen 1, if you glitch the game to, uh, to be, like, above 151, the game gets corrupted real bad when you're talking to Oak, and he reads more than 151 for the Dex. There we go. I'm not sure if the creator of this changed that exactly, because I know you can catch everything. I don't know if they made that work. Imagine if I do all this and I can't even get the diploma. And then that just becomes a meme that people will never shut up about. <laughs> like, I'm like, hey guys, I completed this game, and someone's just gonna- and Mr. Funny Comedian's gonna be like, actually, you didn't. The game glitched at the end. That doesn't count. <laughs> oh. My sense of humor is peaked. Where's the watch hog? Where's the watch hog? There we go. The flashing! I hate so much here. Alright. I don't think there's any trainers to even fight left in here. Let's check it right here. I'm, I'm sure Watch Hog is here. I hope. It's also in that grass up there. Honestly, maybe I should just go there. But I gotta get Bear Tick out for that. So it's not that bad. This place isn't exactly the most easy on the eyes, but... Encounters. 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 You still there? Are there any wild Pokemon? Where the hell is this luck when I'm doing this place normally? There we go. And it's just Darumaka again. Speedrunners wish they could have that. I want Pokemon and I find nothing. I just killed all of them, apparently. <laughs> that was the longest I've ever watched or ever walked in Cinnabar Mansion without getting an encounter. That was something. Oh, give me a break. Give me a break. Just trying to leave that time. Blood shot. Here we go. Get, take him out. <laughs> okay. Deposit uh, the alien now, anyway. Now the game gives me what I want. Yeah! That's always fun. I'm gonna take out Bear Tick now. Now it's. Where was it? Moongus Bear Tick. Alright, I'm on the right. Good thing I'm on the right thing. So let's just surf up. Or I could just go to Pallet Town, that'd be easier. Apparently, Watch Hog is in the grass just below Pallet Town in this game, for whatever reason. Alright, Bear, get in the water. We're going for a ride. This is the Tangula patch, but now there's not Tangula. It's literally just Tangula and Vanilla and Fire and Leaf Green, right? Critical hit. How close am I to a level in this thing? I just gotta get one. Okay, 2,221. There's that dog. His, his uh, legs don't look right, though. I've had that dog for a while. The whole Stoutland family don't look right in the sprite form, honestly. Come on. 
Show me the watchhog. There it is. <laughs> he's having a little pout, because he's angry, chat. He's so upset. Someone took all the cookies, and he didn't get to have a single one. The grumpy boy. Alright, watchhog for the decks. When they see an enemy, their tail stands high. They spit the seeds of berries stored in their cheeks. Alright, there we go. May as well go back to Victory Road now. Hit that last level and get Crocodile. I started with how much in the decks today? I think it was 109. It's not that bad for being this this point in the game. Uh, last time, I believe I finished catching every legendary and mythical, right? I'm pretty sure there's not a single one of them left. I got all of them from Victini to Genesect, all the all the trios there too. All right, now let's go grab some new friends. I still have to look for Dino by doing this. Like, even if I was my team was fully ready, chat, I'd have to be sitting around Victory Road looking for Dino, no matter what. At least Dino is already going to be a high level when I catch it, so I can just uh, grind through the Elite Four. That's something that's fine. But no matter what, there's always a, there's just the handful of those one percent mons to take forever to find. Okay, about 2,000 left. We're not that far off. Nice. Come on. Mm. <laughs> Ouch. Not the small fry. Give us the large ones. The big mean Pokemon to fight. I don't think I can find Swoobat on this floor. But I did see Swoobat at the entrance earlier at the start of the game. Don't talk about fries, you're gonna make me hungry. I'm just going for a little bit longer. I think I just want to get Crocodile. Ah, 700 was good, we're almost there. Oh boy, Timber. Where are they getting those chunks of wood anyway? Just saying that to make me hungry. You're making me do a hungry teddy. Oh, I didn't kill. Croc did not kill. Bad earthquake. At least the croc is mainly strong enough to fight on its own. That's good. Almost there. Just a bit further. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch for this one. Archaeops gets experience. Next time, I can mainly switch out the other half of the team and let them grow doing this. I think all of them started around level 40, 41 each at the start of this. That's good. They're getting there, chat. They're getting there. Chat, now you're making me hungry. I can't eat for a few more minutes until I'm done here. Alright, we got it. There's nothing else I can go quickly catch, I don't think. Give me the crocodile. We can check we can check by reading the dexes. Hang on. Then all the dex entries for the evolved mons I got today. Alright, progress report. We'll get off the bike first. Alright, I think I started with 109 and on 117. That's not terrible. I've had episodes where I only get like one or two because progress is important. I really wanted to. I could also just evolve the starters once, but nah. Alright, let me read what I got here. For new mons, Watchhog Red, Leopard, Pitta, Blitzel, I gotta get Zeb Strika. 
this thing. They use concrete pillars as walking canes. They know moves that enable them to swing the pillars freely. Seismitoad. They shoot liquid that paralyzes from their head bumps. They use vibrations to hurt opponents. Alright, who else did I get? Crocodile. Just got that. And they never allow prey to escape. Their jaws are so powerful they can crush the body of an automobile. Wow. That's pa that sounds painful. Dramaka, Dermanitan, Maractus, we got that. Stuff I evolved into, though. I think all that's left is just a Zoroark, yeah. And the alien. Stories say those who try to catch Zoroark are trapped in an illusion. Aside from alien, I think that might be it. Deerling, Amolga, Carablast, Fungus, Amoongus, Brillish, Jellicent. There it is. It uses psychic power to control an opponent's brain and tamper with its memories. What the mouth do? Crush vehicles. That's what the mouth do. <laughs> it just... How do you even open your... How do you open your mouth wide enough to even chomp down on a car, chat? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure its face can't do that. Anyways, though. This is a good point to stop. I've been going over two hours. Oof, the playthrough's past the 24-hour mark, chat. That's pretty good. Alright, this was fun to do. I enjoyed playing a lot of this and doing Return of the Oberdin today. Alright. But I'm taking tomorrow off. I got big plans for relaxation, chat. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Have a good night, and bye bye